Hey guys, what's up? It's Monster Nano 3 here, and welcome back to another video. In today's video, I'm going to be teaching you guys how to install the Too Many Items mod on Minecraft 1.8. Before I get started, I just want to say, be sure to hit that like button, share this video with your friends, and go ahead and hit that subscribe button if you aren't already, because I'm on my way to 6,000 subscribers, and all help is appreciated. But other than that, let's get on with the video. So, in this video, I'm going to teach you guys a way simpler way on how to install Too Many Items instead of having to go through your jar and a bunch of extra stuff. Uh, so let's get on with the video. So the first thing that you're going to want to do is go down here And if you're on Windows 7, it's basically clicking the start bar and then just typing it in here as well But on Windows 8, I'm not too sure how to do it So you can quickly look up how to go to the percent app data Percent folder on Windows 8. So that's all you really have to type in a percent symbol app data and then percent And you should get this folder So what you want to do is go over here and then look for your dot minecraft folder and this can have all your saves and stuff in here. So just for uh, good backup and stuff, I highly recommend quickly making a new folder in your desktop and desktop, sorry, naming it backup and then pasting all your things in here just in case anything does go wrong. I highly uh, doubt that anything's gonna go wrong because the steps are really simple. But you know, it's uh, a good thing to be safe just in case. So once you've done that, what you want to do is go ahead and open up Minecraft. And don't log in right away or anything like that. What I want you guys to do is go to Edit Profile and make sure you're on Release 1.8. You can, you're probably going to be using the latest version, but just go ahead and use Release 1.8 for the video purposes, and then go ahead and hit Save Profile. Uh, from there, go ahead and hit Play and make sure that um it uh I don't know what I'm saying. Make sure that it like generates the files into your .minecraft folder. You don't really have to go check as long as the game loads up and everything. That means it did generate them. So from there, what I want you guys to do is go to the description and download the two links I have. There's actually going to be three links and I'm about to explain the third one. But go ahead and download Forge and Too Many Items. They're going to be direct links so you're not going to have to worry about doing any extra steps. So once you download Forge, what I want you to do is just go ahead and double click it. And don't be worried if this window does not pop up. This has happened to me before. What I want you guys to do is click on the third link in the description which is a, do which is a Java download. Once you download that, all you have to do is really restart your computer and then you can resume the video from where you left off. But all I have to do is make sure you're on install client and you can leave all this the same. Go ahead and hit OK. From here, it's just going to download libraries and install the Forge mod onto your Minecraft. This is, a, this is an extra step that I do have in the video, but it's going to make it easier for you in the future if you want to install mods. And honestly, it just makes installing this mod way easier as well. So once that's done, it's going to say successfully installed the client. So you can go ahead and hit OK. And then from here, what I want you guys to do is click on Minecraft one more time. And when it loads up, instead of clicking on your normal profile, if you click on the drop down menu, you're going to see one that's titled Forge. All you have to do is click on that and go ahead and hit play. Once the Forge thing actually starts loading up, you're going to see a page like this. This is nothing to be worried of. It's just installing the mod basically into your directory. So you're going to see a bunch of new text down here, but you really don't have to worry about any of that. You should also see a new mods uh, little tab over here, and that's pretty cool. It just basically tells you that the Forge has been downloaded. So from there, what I want you guys to do is go ahead back down here and go back to your percent app data uh, percent folder and go ahead and hit enter. From there, go to your dot Minecraft folder, and then you're going to see a new folder called mods. This was not there before unless you have downloaded, downloaded Forge way before this video. So all you have to do is double click on that and get the second link in the description and drop it into here. It is basically the Too Many Items mod. You don't have to double click it or anything. All you have to do is really just a drag and drop into the mods folder. From there you can close out of your that folder because you're not going to need it anymore and reopen up Minecraft. Make sure you're on the profile Forge and go ahead and hit play. Alright guys, so once uh, you're on Minecraft you should see that the number of mods loaded does change by one because you have installed the Too Many Items mod. So for the video, I'm just going to make a new world really fast, and uh, once the world is done generating, I'll get back to you guys. Alright guys, so we are back. The world has been successfully generated. It looks like we spawned into like a jungle or whatever. But basically, to make sure you do have too many items installed, all you have to do is click on E, and you should see this on the side. So all you can do, all you really have to do from here is click on whatever item you want. You can click it many times, and you'll get a 64 stack placed into your inventory. I think there is a way that you can actually, yeah, so if... Let's say that this did not show up right away. All you would have to do is click O on your keyboard and you can turn it on and off. The O basically stands for on and off, if you guys are unaware of that. So that's pretty neat. You can take it off if you don't want to like show it off or I don't know if it's just bothering you when you're playing normally. But if you need it, all you just have to do is click O. So that really wraps it up for the video, guys. I hope you guys enjoyed. Be sure to hit that like button, share this video with your friends, and go ahead and hit that subscribe button if you aren't already. 
because I'm on my way to 5,000 subscribers. Actually, I'm on my way to 6,000 subscribers, and all help is appreciated. But other than that, I will see you guys in my next video. Peace.